Hi, I'm Malcolm, the developer of Digital Clock Delay. Do you have a Wear OS 3 watch which you use in always on mode? Do you get frustrated by the digital clock overlay which obscures the screen while you're trying to read it? Today, I'm going to show you a workaround for that using my Digital Clock Delay app, or DCD for short. First of all, let me show you what I mean by the digital clock overlay. Here's my Samsung Galaxy 4 watch, and I have it on a blue mat to try to fool the watch into thinking it's on my wrist. Suppose I'm using the Google Keep for my shopping list. Let me open that app now. So suppose I'm at the supermarket, uh, going around, getting my groceries, and I want the display to stay on. But the problem is, after a few seconds, I get this digital clock, so I can't see my shopping list. And sometimes this also happens with incoming notifications. When I'm trying to read one, the digital clock stops me. So let's install the DCD app. It's not in the Play Store because it uses restrictive features like accessibility. So we'll need to sideload it using my Wear Installer 2 app. Firstly, let's get things ready on the watch. I'll make myself a developer. Go down to About Watch. And find Software Info and tap on software version until I get a message that developer mode is turned on. Go back out and there we have developer options. Let me go into that and let me turn on ADB debugging and let me make sure that debug over Wi-Fi is also uh, enabled, which it is, and you can see it's come up with an IP address there, which we're going to need in a moment for Wear Installer 2. If you don't see the IP address, just go out and go back in again, and you should see it uh, as it is uh, as it is there. So let me bring in my phone, and we're going to grab the DCD app from my Freepok website. So I've opened Chrome here, I've gone to freepock.org slash downloads, and here's a list of all my apps. Uh, we're going to use Wear Installer 2, as I said, and if you don't already have it installed, you can actually see it uh, here, and there's a link to, um, to the entry on Google Play Store. So um, let's go back to Digital Clock Delay, and tap on it to download. It says file downloaded. And now let's open Wear Installer 2. And there's some explanation here as to how everything works. Uh, but the important thing to note is this field here where you put the IP address of your watch. So we saw that a moment ago. And when we've done that, we just press done. Now we need to go to the custom APK option. And you can see there digital clock delay underscore where. That's the APK file we just downloaded. And if we tap on it, it's telling me this APK file is for Wear OS. Continue. And we've got an option here on the, uh, on the watch, allow de debugging. Let's say, OK, we want to do that. So watch is now connected by ADB. Tap the install button to continue. Let's do that. Sending the APK file to the watch. That will take just a few seconds, and the APK file is now installed on the watch. Now, just before we, uh, we finish, um, the DCD app needs to be able to change the brightness setting on the watch. We'll see that, we'll see that in, a, in operation in a moment. 
And to do that, it needs permission to uh, modify system settings. Now, if you have a Google Pixel watch, you can give that permission directly on the watch, but that doesn't work on a uh, Samsung Galaxy Watch 4 or 5. But you can do it from Wear Installer 2. So let's do that. DCD app modify system settings. We're going to tap that. It tells me what it's going to do. Tap it again. And you can see on the watch, it says it's come up with a new option that's not, not normally available to change system settings. I'm going to turn that on. Modify system settings, yes. Okay. Uh, now let's finish. And it comes up with a reminder, turn off ADB debugging on watch. That's important to do because we don't want to waste a battery. So back into developer options, turn off ADB debugging. So now if we look at the installed apps, we can see uh, a new app, DCD, is there. And it needs accessibility permission to work. So if we press the OK button, it'll take us there. Installed apps, digital clock delay, turn it on. Yes, I'm sure. And now just right swipe to go back. So there are a few settings here. Let's run through them. Uh, delay after notification. So this is the, uh, the amount of time in seconds to keep the display on after a notification comes in so you can read it. So typically I have this set to 15 seconds. You can choose any value you want. Now, um, when the uh, we're going to select some apps for um, for DCD to keep awake, we'll see that in a moment. Um, but so as to not use too much battery, we can allow the screen to dim. Isn't it annoying when this keeps happening? By the way, um, so we can uh, we can allow the screen to dim after a few seconds, and typically I select 15 seconds for that. And the, this is the brightness in dim mode. So it can be any value from 0 to 255. It's got to be a low value because it's, uh, we're dimming the screen. Uh, let's leave it set to 20, but you can choose any value between 10 and 100. Now, here's the, uh, a list of all the installed apps. And we can choose from this list the apps that we want to uh, to keep awake and prevent the digital clock from obscuring the display. So we saw uh, Keep Notes, so let's select that and it turns red to show it's selected. Now Google Maps is another one. It's very frustrating when you have maps on your watch and you want to keep the display um, alive, you want to be able to read it and suddenly the digital clock comes in and you can't read it anymore. So let's turn on maps as well. Uh, let's just leave it at those uh, those two for now. I don't recommend um, doing too many apps because uh, otherwise you might have a bit of a battery hit. So I wouldn't go through and select everything, but just the key apps that, um, that you want to stop this from happening. So uh, if I long tap now, I can then just save all the changes and exit. Uh, yeah, so that's the kind of one time setup for DCD and that will just continue working in the background. And let's go into our shopping list again. <clears throat> and uh, here it is. So we're going around the, uh, the supermarket. We, uh, we want to keep our shopping list visible on the screen. Uh, when we did this last time, the uh, digital clock obscured it. But now you can see that actually it's just faded, uh, faded a little bit. Uh, you can control the uh, the brightness. We saw that uh, in the uh, when we were in the DCD app. So you can uh, you can make sure that you you set the uh, the screen so that it's visible even when it's dimmed. 
and uh, and that's uh, that's obviously going to make it a lot easier when you're going around the supermarket, or if you're using Google Maps and you want to keep the map on the screen, or any other any other app that you select that you want to keep uh, keep being able to see without the digital clock getting in the way. So uh, so that's pretty much it. Uh, I hope this was uh, this was useful. Um, Thank you for watching. Uh, you can get this uh, this app and my other apps from the FreePoc uh, website. Uh, thank you for watching this video and I'll see you soon.